Hey Aries, welcome to Queen Air Benetero. Today we're going to do your beginning of August general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So Aries, when I was meditating over you guys' energy... I heard the song Dear John by Tamia. I will leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow on the reading if you so choose to. Now, literally right before I press start, I heard Smooth Criminal <clears throat> by Michael Jackson, which is very interesting because Dear John and Michael Jackson have quite a bit in common as far as the content, what it means, right? So, in Smooth Criminal, Michael Jackson is talking about how somebody is getting or trying to get away with murder, trying to get away with a situation, you know, trying to be smooth and they're smooth about it, okay? And dear John, to me, is talking about how she wrote this letter to him saying, I'm, I'm out of here. I got to go. So either you are doing this or a love interest is doing this because I did see the tower. And it's so interesting because it's making me think about smooth criminal because in the pre-shuffle, you guys have the seven of swords. Okay. Seven of swords, you guys know, is liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, connive, or some type of deception of possibly worst kind. Okay. In your pre-shuffle, you had the air signs and um, water signs very strongly. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys also had quite a bit of Earth energy, but I feel like more so, <clears throat> so possibly towards Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. That could be the case for some of you all. But what I'm getting strongly with the Earthy energies is that somebody like is sneaking off with some stuff that does not belong to them in a breakup, or some you're finding out that somebody took some money out of your account. Or someone's accusing you of doing this. Um, also, Pentacles, you know, that talks about the long-term stability, foundations, you know, um, monetary gains and needs being met. Somebody took advantage of that. Okay, again, I want to say somebody either took some money out of a shared account without somebody's permission, closed down an account, because I'm, I'm seeing that very clearly. Like, I'm, I'm literally seeing um, someone pulling up to an ATM. I'm seeing something like that. And then also, you know, I just feel like somebody is possibly trying to fight for a home that you two shared, either apartment or a home, whatever the case is, somebody's trying to fight for stability and, and they're trying to be relentless about it. Also, they're being sneaky about the way they're going about things. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today. You guys know it's always going to change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> we will do the same for your clarifying deck. And there's absolutely no reversals in either one of the decks. But if we get any, we will read it as such. So now currently at the bottom of the deck, you had a two of cups. And I did say strong Gemini. Well, okay, see, I want to say Gemini. And it makes a lot of sense because you have two, even though that's water. So the twins. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Gemini. And for others, I did mention water, right? This is someone that you possibly felt like was your soulmate. But there were some secrets. Because I'm going to tell you, even in pre-shuffle, you guys had the moon card. The moon card and the seven of swords popping up. And unison like that, that's that's some deception. And it's a bold face lie at that. You know, and then if you see right here behind them, there's a moon. And you see how it's illuminated? Like some type of truth is coming to the light about a situation. Okay? Because the moon, whether it's the actual moon card or not, that moon energy, you see how it is glowing and illuminating? The moon always talks about things hidden, things unknown, things that we don't have clarity about. Also, I'm going to say this with this two energy, even though these are two different genders, I'm still getting that th you are seeing a different part of this person that you've never seen before. This person could be a bit two-faced. It's something hidden about this individual. And remember I was saying like they could stare dead in your face, bold face ass lie. And look how this person, how they're just eyeing each other down confidently, seductively, in unison. So I feel like this person is very good with looking people straight in the face and lying and not even flinching with a straight face, like and very unbothered. Ooh. A bit of a sociopath I'm getting. See? And then you have the Page of Swords. Now, I'm going to tell you guys also, of the four kings in the deck, you guys had three of them. You had the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Wands, okay? You know what? You have King of Cups, too. So, you had all four swords. Um, all, and I keep wanting to say swords. So, some of you guys are definitely dealing with it. See? And I said water, air. So, some of you guys are dealing with a water sign. Others is air sign. But what I was saying was that, you know, I kept getting these kings, right? And then immediately after the kings and the shuffle, I was getting a lot of pages. So what I feel like is this person displayed themselves as a king or a queen, and they were really a page. They weren't who you thought they were. Definitely picked up some energy of emotional immaturity. But more than anything, I feel like financially, that's why I said some of you guys could definitely be dealing with earth signs, but I feel like as far as security, this person came off as a king and queen because, you know, kings and queens 
they're well off, they're wealthy, they're well revered. I feel like this person wanted to showcase themselves as something more than what they were because I feel like financially they weren't as stable as they came off to be is what I'm getting. So let's see what we get for you guys today, okay? You guys know we're going to shuffle the deck upright a couple of times until we get your major arcana. And for you guys, it will be the emperor, male or female. You guys know my readings are gender neutral, okay? We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? So let's just part the deck randomly. No, wow. So nine of cups, this is someone who made you very happy. You felt like they were your wish fulfillment because the nine of cups talks about getting everything that you hope for and more especially emotional satisfaction because cups is the emotions and feelings and it's coming right next to the two of cups so you felt like this person was everything and some but it was something i'm telling you i'm not gonna get those two songs you're gonna find out the truth you got the ace of swords truth clarity knowledge and wisdom now with this a lot of this if you look at this back to back okay as soon as i parted this you have the two of cups page of swords then right here you have the nine of cups Ace of Swords. So I said to you guys in the very beginning, I'm picking up very strong water and air combinations. It could be an air sign with strong water and a chart, vice versa. But I'm, you know, very strong air and water. And, you know, cups, again, it's the emotions and feelings. And their source is the communication and the mental. It could also be leading up to the fact that this person was emotionally manipulative. They played on your emotions, showed you everything that you wanted and some. Because she's literally in La La Land. You know, she feels as though she has everything she wants and some. She's surrounded by emotional bliss. But right up under here, you got the Ace of Swords, True Clarity, Knowledge, and Wisdom. I feel like you're getting ready to find out some truths about something. Four of Swords, this person has pulled back and retreated. You possibly haven't been talking to them since April. Or you could be an April um, Aries. And you may have pulled back from this person because you found out some type of truth about what it was that they were trying to sell you. Because I'm hearing somebody may have tried to sell you a dream. Okay, so let's see. Yep, and remember, there you go with the Ace of Pentacles. You could have lived with this person. You could have seen yourself walking down the aisle, getting married to this individual, because I always get that with this card also. Like, the way these flowers are falling, it makes me think about, um, you know, how they throw rice at a wedding. Somebody's seen the future, okay? I'm telling you, I can't make this up. You guys are watching what I'm doing. You got the Three of Swords. So there's some heartbreak, sorrow, grief, sadness in a situation. Because someone was, I feel like somebody was being sold a golden ticket. And you guys know what that reference means. Like somebody was selling you a dream. Or someone feels as though you've done that to them. Just seen a magician. Yeah, there's some, there's some stuff going on behind the scenes that's coming to the light. Okay, so we're going to hold it down, change the card again. Now at the bottom of the deck, I'm telling you, there's some deception here. You have the devil, major icona for Capricorn, some type of attachment, some type. I feel like now you're getting ready to see this person for who they are. I always tell you guys, anytime you see in cars a face shield or a hood on someone, it's something hidden. It's something, they're cloaking something that they don't want you to see. But I feel like it's getting exposed, okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck and get your major. And you keep getting, and remember we just had that and you watched how it shuffled. You have the four of swords again. So some of you guys could definitely be April. Um... Aries, and I said I've seen this also. Look at that. We didn't get too far before you hit the tower. So it's like slowly but surely this information was coming to you. Some of you all may have shut down when you found this out. We have the tower. That's your energy and also Scorpio. So again, there was some type of tower moment after some information. You may have been with this person for a while, and then it finally came down to you. You know, you finally got the information, and it was shocking, so you just kind of shut down. Not only from this person, but I feel like other people as well. Because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving light in the whole entire deck of tarot. But he's coming away from the tower. So I feel like some of you all are just finding something out. And it's taking you a minute to kind of process it. Okay, so again, we're going to go see. And then right behind that, you, you got the Magician. I'm Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, so <laughs> look at this. Tower, Major Arcana. The Magician, Major Arcana. The Wheel of Fortune. So I'm going to tell you what I'm getting from this. First of all, you got three major icons back to back. Boom, boom, boom. You guys watch me sit here. Shuffle this. So with the tower, right? Again, something is coming to a crashing hope that was unexpected. Caught you off guard. This is why someone is pulling back and kind of going within. And I feel like you're finding out about some um, manipulation, okay? Some deception. Because a magician is a weaver. A magician can make you think or see whatever it is they want you to think and see. But I feel like this was something that was faded. It was meant for this to happen. So you could get into a better situation. And it may be hurtful and painful now. But look, I'm not even getting far before. Look at that. And I was just getting ready to say it, it could be hurtful and painful now. But I feel like ultimately you were being protected. 
Oh, and then now I'm hearing Annie, are you okay? Like from the Smooth Criminal song. And then you have the Seven of Swords that I was telling you guys about. I'm going to keep going or else we'll be doing this forever because it's already telling me the story. Look, the moon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. There's, I'm seeing some endings coming in this situation because um, a lot of you all are finding out something about this person. And see, you could have been with this person for quite a while because we're halfway through the deck and we don't have your card yet. <clears throat> Again, we are looking for the emperor. Okay. So we stopped at the very top with the ace of wands. I feel like, like I said, with that wheel of fortune, whatever this was, it was a blessing in disguise because it's allowing you to walk into something new because all aces are brand new stars. Okay. So here you are, your emperor right here, right in front of it. Wow. The sun card and right behind it, the three of cups. Then you have the queen of swords. So some of you guys are definitely cutting someone off. Okay. Because you see how she has her sword prepared and she's ready to end something. She doesn't look very happy about it, but she's prepared nonetheless. And I feel like that's going to be you guys. So let's see what we get for you guys today. You got the sun card. When it's very interesting because you could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, specifically Leo. But also keep in mind, we are currently in Leo season. So you could be finding out about a third party situation. And again, I have to say this disclaimer. Okay. I know everyone gets upset about the whole third party scenario, but look here. You got the three of cups and look at you have the attachment. You have two different children attached to this son. Okay. And, and keep in mind, this is intuitive, you know, tarot. So I'm not going to go by the textbook version of it. I'm telling you what I'm picking up intuitively there, especially with this in the middle. You see how she's looking over. I feel like some of you guys are finding out because anytime the sun comes up, a brand new day starts and it illuminates and shines a light on the situation. Some of you guys could be finding out about a third party. Okay. And that's why you're leaving. Okay, yep, because I'm hearing Dear John again. And and like I said in that song, she's leaving him this note to say, I'm out of here because somebody possibly found out about a third party. Now, on a more positive note, which I am picking this up for a lot of you all, the Three of Cups is celebration, happiness, fulfillment. Your cup's flow overflowing. And the Sun card is the absolute most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. If you look at her right here, she's looking right in the direction of the sun and you. So I feel like whatever it does, whatever it was, just like I said with that Wheel of Fortune, this was like a blessing in disguise, okay? Because I feel like this person being cut out of your life is possibly one of the most positive things that could have happened to you in a good long time is what I'm getting. Okay, so let's get a clarifier for the sun card and for the three of cups. Also, you, some of you guys could have a friend who is a Leo and you'll be celebrating with them um, for their birthday. And I feel like you may meet someone because I'm just paying attention to how their hands are joined together. You, you can be connected to someone new, especially singles, to somebody through a mutual friend. Because you see how they're both attached to one tentacle and then they're holding hands. It's literally like a triangle. You see that? So it's like they're, they're destined. I'm getting destined and faded connections through friendships for a lot of you all. Okay? Bottom of the deck, you got the King of Wands, absolutely more Leo energy. So again, something's going down in Leo season. Somebody could finally be celebrating getting over some heartbreak also is what I'm picking up. So let's part the deck, change it to top and bottom, okay? Wow, so you got the Knight of Swords. Some fast moving communication coming in towards you. What's interesting enough is you see how both of them are going in the same direction. I'm going to tell you right now what I'm getting from this is that somebody is offended that you had the nerve to finally leave them. Look at his face. Not pleased. And then it's like this is somebody rushing in to give you a good what for tell you how they feel about a situation because knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle and if you look at it he's very moving very quickly in a frenzy if you will okay so let's go ahead and shuffle and get a clarifier for the sun as well as the three of cups some of you guys could have married, been married to or engaged to this person um you have a king you see how he's looking right in the direction of the four of wands you have a king in reverse anytime you have a king or a queen in reverse that's negative because kings and queens hold positions of power, leadership. They are well revered, well respected. Okay. But when they're in reverse, it's like they're taking their power, you know, they're they're taking advantage of it. And they're not using it for the best. Again, with all this fiery energy, it could be a fellow fire sign. Or more so anything, you could be finding some things out in Leo season. Yep, just seeing the sun again. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Or as I said, something's going to go down to a Leo season. Look at this. Okay. So you got a death card, some type of ending. 
and then you have the temperance okay major arcana for sag major arcana for scorpio now you see how the death card is going right in the direction of the temperance card the temperance card is tempering yourself being patient healing balancing the scales balancing things out and then the death card is definitely talking about a certain ending and that ties into the energy of the tower that we're seeing so i feel like there's going to be some type of ending but someone was patiently waiting for their, you know, look how graceful and calm and patient this person is. Again, listen to the song, Dear John. Because in the song, Dear John, she was very calculated about how she was going to leave this person. They were just waiting for the right time to sweep in on that horse to put an ending to a situation. Okay. Yep, just seen a fool card taking a leap of faith into something new. Somebody's ready to take a leap of faith into singlehood. Wow. Okay. And then you have the Three of Cups again. So again, I'm going to say somebody could be celebrating being single now because they're finally healed from some type of heartbreak. And also, I'm going to have to say again, somebody may be leaving someone because they found out about a third-party situation. Now, typically, that's not what it means. But if you see, this is two different cards, right? She's alone here. But if you pay attention, there's two people where you can clearly see what they look like. But then there's one person with their back facing us, So we, which means we don't know this person. So there could be a third party, like I said. And I do feel like it was a romantic thing. You know, I am picking it up. So let's get a clarifier for the sun card. For Aries, sun, moon, rise, and Venus individuals. And make sure you're looking at the shuffles. I'm still hearing the hook for Dear John. Okay, you guys see how that card rested right here on my hand? Yep. <laughs> Two of cups in reverse. Notice this, you have major icon of sun is Leo. You have some Leo energy here, even though this is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And remember I kept saying, Gemini, I want to say it so bad, you have Roman numeral two right here that looks like the Gemini symbol. So again, some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini specifically or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, sun, moon, rise, and Venus. But here's the thing, the light has shown, now you're getting clarity, that this situation may not be all that it was cut out to be, Okay. I feel like somebody tried to pull the wool over your eyes and for a minute they possibly did. You also could have been with this person for two years before you found something out. You have those two children here. You have those two cups. You get what I'm saying? So you could have possibly found out. Also, I'm hearing that someone could have found out two years ago that their person was cheating and you tried to work things out with this individual. And it just, it just, I'm, I'm hearing it may have blown up in somebody's face. Someone feels stupid for allowing this person another chance. Bottom of the deck, absolute man, I can't make this up. Okay, so you got the five of cups, right? There's that two energy again, okay? And then if you look at it right here, you got one, two, three. Three cups on the ground. So this is how I know, like I said, this is some type of third-party situation. Or someone is, is leaving the dear John know because they're like, enough is enough. I gave you enough time and you're doing the same shit again, right? Because I feel like somebody gave someone another chance even after finding out some things. And they just kept... This person just kept really just doing the fool with you, okay? So let's get a clarifier for the Three of Cups. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Ooh, okay. You got the Hermit. You see, that flipped out very quickly. So some of you guys could be dealing, and I did say Earth for some of y'all. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Look at this. <laughs> they're, they're like having to face off, okay? But I feel like now this person isn't going to be able to look you in your face because I feel like you have ample information and proof now. Because keep in mind, a hermit is someone who's going and, and seeking some type of information, seeking clear, clarity. They're like seeking knowledge. And it's like whatever someone found out, first of all, they found out about third party because he's shining a light right in her direction. But then also, whatever someone found out, they're not very happy about it. Again, I'm going to say because if you look at it, he has his lantern lit, but his head is down. Like he's not even looking up at her. So it is, it's like whatever someone found out is not something that they wanted to find out, but they needed to because the hermit needs to go on this journey in order to find himself, in order to find out the truth because the hermit is always a, a seeker and also they gain knowledge where they could be a teacher also. But more than anything, like I said, what I'm getting with this is somebody found out some truths, didn't make them happy. Also could be involving, and I did say air sign earlier, so it could be involving a Aquarius as well because I'm just looking at how the star is shining and the way it's shaped. And the star card in Major Arcana is Aquarius. So for some of y'all, it could be involving Aquarius also. And keep in mind, this is also Major Arcana, so that's a definite energy. So I feel like somebody did some research. They did some, some digging, and they found out about a third party. And this is why you're getting that Dear John, you know, um, song. Somebody thought they was going to be a smooth criminal, but... You or this person found out is what I'm getting very strongly. 
<laughs> Why do I keep hearing? I keep hearing, Annie, are you okay? So, and I'm not laughing because it's not funny. I'm laughing because of the way I'm hearing it. But um, as far as the Annie, are you okay thing, it's kind of like you could be having friends ask you like, okay, are you okay? Do you want to go have drinks? Do you want to do you want to talk about it? Because I feel like with that four of swords that we seen earlier on, somebody is really shutting down. Like somebody has shut down. You may, you know, friends and family are texting you and you're not responding. Because right now you're in, in a state of disbelief. You or your person is what I'm getting. Okay? You're going to be all good at Aries because you guys are strong. You guys are tenacious. Fire signs typically burn that stuff off quicker than most. Okay? So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.